skyscrapers have become the signatures of big cities everywhere, and skylines around the world are getting even taller with mega-tall skyscrapers being built as we speak. London's skyline transformation plan for 2030 is about to change the city's look forever as over 119 new skyscrapers have been proposed. On this episode of Built a Billion, we'll take a look at some of the spectacular new buildings coming to London's skyline. Please subscribe and leave a like if you would love to hear about all the new mega projects of the world, one billion at a time. Number six, one undershaft. This skyscraper will be built in London city, replacing the 118 meter tall St. Helens Tower. This building is also known as the trellis because of its exoskeleton cross bracing. The tower was initially poised to reach 304 meters, but then was decreased to 290 meters due to the concern of certain flight paths. This change made the building 16 meters shorter than the shard. At the top of the building, there will be a two-story public observation deck and will include exhibition spaces from the Museum of London. The observation deck's upper level will sit at 280 meters, making it the highest one in the United Kingdom, even higher than the shard's deck that sits at 244 meters. The floor just below the observation deck will host a restaurant. The tower is due for completion at some point this decade. Number five, Tulip Tower. Tulip Tower is a recently approved tulip-shaped glass observation tower 300 meters above the ground. When it's completed, the Tulip Tower will reign as the second tallest tower in Western Europe, second only to the Shard. The architect designed the building to look like the petals of a tulip with rotating gondolas and internal lights providing beautiful views of the city. Sky bridges would run between the observation decks and the tower would also have a bar and restaurant with 360 degree views. Not only this, but the social and cultural landmark will have educational resources for the children and house interactive guides to teach a curriculum based on the nation's history. At the base, there will also be a two-story entrance pavilion with a roof garden and the tower will be heated and cooled with zero combustion energy. The Tulip Tower is expected to open by 2025. Number four, 100 Leadenhall Street. The City of London Corporation gave the green light to build a skyscraper at 100 Leiden Hall in London. Once completed, the building will reach 263 meters, making it the third tallest building in London. Nearby residential complexes will have to be demolished to create space for the 56-story building. The building will offer 102,000 square feet of office space, retail spaces on the ground, and a public viewing gallery on the top two floors. The first level of the gallery will provide a 360 panoramic view over London, with the top floor offering a view to the south, offering a capacity for 360 guests at a time. The construction will be completed by 2027 and has earned nicknames like the Cheese Grater or the Diamond for its appearance. Number 3. 18 Blackfriars Tower There are plans to build a skyscraper on the southern end of the Blackfriars Bridge. Previously, the site was already approved for a residential tower and an office tower, but a year ago, the site was bought by Heinz and the National Pension Service of Korea. Foster and partners were then hired to revise the plans of the 18 Blackfriars site. The revised plot will have three brick-clad high-rise buildings, with each structure having green terraces and roofs that reflect the nearby OXO tower. The tallest structure will be an office building with a height of 210 meters, and the second tallest will be a 160 meter tall residential building called the Stanford Building. The third will be 100 meters tall. The three buildings will be grouped around a central square linked to Christ Church Garden. Construction will begin next summer and development will cost one billion pounds. And during the process, the aim is to use half the usual amount of energy consumption to do the job. Number two, the Spire. The Spire London will be built in West India Quay and will be the tallest residential tower in Western Europe. It will cost 800 million pounds to construct and will contain 861 apartments. Originally, the building was to be named after the Hertzmeer House, the name of the building that was demolished to construct it. But in 2014, the Chinese developer Greenland Group acquired the site and changed its name to Spire London. 
The top of the building is shaped like an orchid, a flower cultivated in China for thousands of years. Construction was supposed to be completed in 2021, but at this moment, the project has been stalled. Number 1. Infinity London London is planning the world's first 360-degree infinity pool. The Infinity London Tower will have 55 floors, with the upper floors housing an international five-star hotel. But the main attraction is a 600,000 liter pool with no visible edges for the swimmers. But how does one get in and out of a rooftop infinity pool? Will they have to be dropped in by helicopter? Will there be stairs on the outside? No. The designs include a submarine-like airlocked staircase that rises up through the water. The design includes a transparent floor for visitors and a built-in wind speed meter to prevent water from hitting the streets below. The pool will also feature a heating system that catches hot gas from the building's air conditioners to heat the pool's water. The walls and bottom of the pool are made of cast acrylic instead of glass and include lights that sparkle at night. When it is built, the pool will be the world's first 360 degree infinity pool. What do you think about London's new upcoming skyscrapers? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. In the meantime, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen, and thanks for visiting Built a Billion.